Hello and welcome to another Boom Beach Troop Tears and Base Designs video. In this one, we're going to be going over Headquarters Level 9, in which we didn't unlock anything new, so the tier list isn't going to be that different. However, there might be a couple changes here and there, but obviously, right off the bat, Heavies S++, combined with Dr. Caven, who will also join him there. This two combo is still just such a strong duo. It's very, very effective because when the Heavies get low on health, Dr. Caven can heal them. As well as on Hecarus level 9, you're still going to have an odd number of landing crafts, which when you use these two, you can have three boats of Zookas, which is why I'm going to have Zookas at S+, plus because you're going to have more Zookas. However, with Dr. Caven and the Heavies, that kind of subsequents the uneven amount of landing crafts. So Warriors, we recently unlocked them. However, they're still not really all that good. We're going to put them in B tier. When it comes to the four troops that we have unlocked, the warriors are just by far the worst in my opinion, because you really just don't have that much stuff you can do with them. So, Rifleman, the last troop we have, is going to go to S tier. All Rifleman still is pretty good, combined with Dr. Caven, as well as if you want to use that fifth boat for Rifleman instead of uh, Zookas, you can do that instead as well. Uh, Shockmon, we'll go S+, plus just because it's still very effective. Artillery S++, by far the best way to use your gunboat energy. And another great way is going to go the Crystal Critters. We're going to have that at S plus tier. It's not quite on the level of Artillery, and it's just still super effective. It's basically having more Dr. Cabins, as I've explained many times. Medkit. I guess we'll go ahead and put the Medkit on the same level as Rifleman, because those two combined are a very effective unit. Flares, we'll put at A tier. You will go to B tier. You're still just not nearly as good as Dr. Caven in any way. This will go to A tier. Or excuse me, B tier. Her shield ability to B tier. We'll go this to B tier. So all of um, Sergeant Brick is going to go to B tier. There are a bit, her abilities, as I've explained before, are only as strong as she is. And she's not that strong. So that's why it's going to stay at B tier. This ability is pretty good if you want to make sure you don't lose any troops at all. So we'll go ahead and get it to S tier. And then this ability is also pretty good. We'll put it at S tier as well. So there's my troop tiers for headquarters level 9. And right on over to the base design. Now when it comes to my headquarters level 9, I went with a very similar base design to my headquarters level 8. Except we obviously added the flamethrower. As well as I might have separated these cannons to where if they use a barrage they don't do as much damage to this cannon because most of the time at this headquarters level they're going to try and take out the both cannons with their gunboat energy and then the main part about these this defense is no matter where you attack from you're going to have to take on the majority of my defenses whether you attack the front or the side or the back you're going to be taking on a lot of firepower from each side of my base so that's why i like this base design Obviously, for my attacking, I use two boats of heavies and three boats of zookas, as well as Dr. Caven for my offensive strategy, as well as these are my statues, if you're wondering. A lot of resource reward and a couple other statues. And so, yeah, that's about it for Headquarters Level 9. In the next one, we will be unlocking Barrage, which is another really good gumbo energy, as well as Warships, which is very, very important, and then some Iron Mines and Stone Storage. So, thanks for watching, and hope you have a good day.